Welcome back for another Ash Design training video. Today I'm going to show you how to use our brand new calendar templates in Lightroom. And I'm just going to walk you through step by step and show you how easy it is to create these new custom templates 100% in Lightroom. The first thing I did is import my session into Lightroom so you can see all my session images right here. And I'm going to select all of my images first. I'm just going to hit Command A, Control A if you're on a PC so you have everything selected. I'm just going to go under Collections, Create Collections. I'll just name it, tell it where I want to save it. I want to include the selected photos, that's why I selected them all first. And I want to make new virtual copies so that any edits that I make particular to this calendar won't be made on any other projects that I work with these images on. And then just hit create. Now I have this demo calendar right down here in my collections. By creating this collection, now it will follow me through whether I'm working in the develop module or even in the print module. I'll still have access to all of those images in the collection that I created. Next I'm going to import my presets. This particular set came with one develop module preset and then several print module presets. So you'll have to install them in the correct area. Right now you can see I'm in the develop module. I created a new folder called Ash Presets and then I just right click to import navigate to find my preset and click import. To apply the preset you simply press it and you can see the effects on your image. To see the before and after you can split panels and see that's exactly what that daydream preset does. The set also came with several print module presets so I'll navigate to the print module, go to my template browser, create a new folder, Right click to import, select all my files, and then click import. Now that I have all my presets uploaded into Lightroom, I'm ready to start designing, except for that you'll know in my demo collection here, I have all my images, but I don't have any of my accessories because I forgot to add those to my collection. So I'm just going to go back to the library, and I've saved all of my accessories in this folder. I have an Ash Design accessory kit folder and then in there I have my calendar folder and again I'm just going to select all of these by command or control A. Once I've selected them all I'm just going to find my collection, add selected photos to this collection. Now when I go back to the print module and I choose my collection you can see I have all of my images and integrated within those are all of my calendar files as well. So I'm ready to start building. So from here, it's just a drag and drop, just like our Lightroom collages. So I'm going to drag this to the background, and as you can see, the background turns that yellow border, so I know where I'm dropping it. And then the same with my images. I can just drag and drop images. Right into my calendar page. Once you've finished your design, you'll click Create Saved Print in the upper right corner to save a version in Lightroom under your collection. I'll show you this step later in the video. Now I've opened up the calendar cover from my Lightroom presets and I'm dragging and dropping the images again to fill the template. As I drag and drop the images, I can make edits to the images by going back to the Develop module. Inside the develop module I can then crop my images to fit the boxes and then once I go back over to my print module I'll see the changes reflected in my design. I'll continue to do this for each of my images as I work through the design. Again as I go back to the print module you'll see those changes are reflected. Keep in mind as I look for my final image that you can go back to the develop module and make additional edits to your images. For example, I can use the new daydream preset that we uploaded in the beginning of this video 
which is going to provide that soft edges to this image to complete my cover design. Next I'll double click on the text to make edits, type in my family name, and press OK to see those changes reflected. Now that I'm finished, I'll cl click Create Saved Print, name my file, tell it where to save, and click Create. Now that I've designed my cover and my January page, I also need to design the calendar page. To do that, I'm going to go back to my full demo collection where I can see all of my session images and elements. This is an important step to make sure that you don't override any changes to the calendar design that you just made. Next, I'm going to go back to my templates and the print presets. From here, I'll select a template called Date Page. It's simply a black page designed to hold the calendar steps. Now I just look for my correct date. In this case, I'll find January and drag it into the template. You'll notice this set, we provided two options for each month. This one has large numbers for each day, or I can choose this file with small numbers, leaving more room to write on the calendar page. Then follow the same process to save the file in the night room. First, click Create Save Print. Name my file January dates and tell it to save in my demo folder. Then I'll click create. Now it's saved under my collection. The final step is to save them out as print files. So as you can see, I have each of mine saved under my collections. From here, I'll select the files that I want to save out. I'll just start at the top and then I'll click print to file. I'll navigate to find my desktop folder that I want to save them in, and this will be the folder I'll use to upload my images to my lab's Rose system.